Hey guys, welcome back to a trapeze artist's favourite sexual act, Skyrimming! Woo! Uh, so, I've just literally come out of this place. Uh, I say just literally, it was yesterday for me, but you know, for you guys it'll probably be just literally. And I'm off towards this town over here, because I've got to meet someone. Who am I meeting? I'm talking to Alvor in Riverwood. Riverwood, that's the name that I've been struggling with for two, uh, two whole episodes now. This looks like a good ambush point, doesn't it? Wow, look at that. Dangerous. Uh, yeah, so, um, dragons. Dragons came along and attacked an Imperial Enclave. Grr, we, we don't like that. Uh, I've decided that Skin really likes the Imperials. Uh, I'm probably going to try and play him as like a lawful evil character. I like the Imperials because they let me kill bandits. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's probably where we're going to go with this one. Um, <clears throat> and with that in mind, Let's get our way down into Riverwood. So it's middle of the night. Um, I don't really fancy approaching a town in the middle of the night again, but I suppose I'm going to have to. Uh, I say again, you guys have never seen me play this game, so you don't know that I am forever walking through the back entrance of towns and missing stuff that's set up at the beginning, or walking in at night and going, oh, there's nothing to do here. Am I sneaking still? I am sneaking. Let's stop sneaking and just walk into town. Um, despite it being half ten at night we've still got people walking around scaring chickens there's an old lady here doing something to that rack um, but this is the man I'm supposed to talk to Wow okay so let's just talk to this guys hello no it's not every day you get visitors in Riverwood but then at the same time it's not every day that a dragon attacks us so uh, let's just gloss over that and uh, talk about what do you think about the war? Why am I supposed to talk to this guy? Like, there's there's no there's no thing here that's like help help a dragon attacked. Um, do you have any supplies I could take? Hey, I've just met you, but um, you know, uh, can I have your stuff? Of course, take what you need. <laughs> awesome, thank you very much, What's mate. All this about? What are you two doing here? Uh, oh wow, this is the the shopping. Stuff. Oh wait, it's literally just taking stuff. Oh, I don't know. What, what you got? You got any potions? I need healing potions. Yeah, I'll take them. Thank you, if that's alright. If you don't mind. I don't care about your food. And what have we got under the miscellaneous? Iron? I'm going to steal his iron. Um, no, nothing here that I want. Okay, that that's all that I want. Thank you. Uh, a dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Hadvar and I escaped together. What? A dragon? Elgin? <laughs> Did I stutter? That's what I saw earlier, <laughs> flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. What did you think it was? A, like a dinosaur? I mean, we're in Skyrim, like, ah. Anyway, it was a dragon. Hadvar will tell you the same thing. A dragon? Here in Skyrim? What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Yarrow needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Indeed. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. You'll be in my debt despite already giving me a load of stuff. Um, I like this man. He looks like he can be taken advantage of. Um, so we've already taken his supplies. How do I get to Whiterun? Yeah, how do I go to White Run? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. Well, that when sounds like what we're gonna do then. Just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Wait, wait, Dragon's Reach? To tell him about the dragon? I I sent some sort of conspiracy. Perhaps the Jarl actually sent the dragon himself to uh, consolidate his power. Because as we all know, when a population is uh, in terror, uh, not at all reflecting the way today's society has gone, but when the population is in terror, that the, the government can more easily take control and uh, enact things like special orders that uh, help the people in power have more power. Uh, but who knows? I mean, that's just a, a crazy theory. Uh, in fact, Tell me about this Jarl. Is he the type of person to do that? Jarl Balgraf. He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man. Perhaps a bit overcautious. But these are dangerous times. Indeed. So far he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm 
afraid it can't last, though. Uh, which side of the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. As we all will, my friend. I mean, don't we all support the Empire? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. Indeed. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair weather friends. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so, yeah, who's who's Elsif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. It sounds like a tall that tale. Started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Yaros start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Yet another reason that we should accept our glorious Imperial Masters and just, uh, you know, let them organize everything. Um, well, I think we've got our quest. We can go speak to the Yaro, right? All right. Oh wait, do you want to, do you want to sell Take stuff? What you need, my friend. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever. You're, you're not you're not a shop. Mm -hmm. All right, let's find a shop because I am way down with stuff. Look, I'm just off of being on my carrying capacity. Um, so first off, I have a nice. What do I use? I use the steel mace, which I've already improved, and a longbow. Um, let's see if I can improve my longbow. That's not the one, I need the grind. Let's see if I can improve the armor I'm wearing. That'd probably be useful. Uh, use workbenches to uh, improve armor or improvement requires materials, la da da da. I'm sure you will know that bit if you're watching this. It's a, you know, it is a modded playthrough. I shouldn't imagine you've, uh, this is your first encounter of Skyrim. If it is, you can improve your stuff here with stuff. Oh yeah, that's all the detail you need to go into really. Um, I've got a couple of bits of iron ore as well. Uh, 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 I'm not allowed to steal this. I think my main problem here is it's middle of the night. Shall we go to the pub? I presume this is the pub. This looks like a tra trader. We don't want the trader. Uh, we're looking for a pub. Is this a pub? Thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine. I keep telling him. Wait. You look like a traveler, someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. I've seen some things, indeed. I've seen a dragon. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Everyone tells me to go speak to the Jarl. Maybe I just want to kick it in this town for a little bit. I mean, psh. Uh, is there anywhere I can buy stuff? Lucan's got a little bit of everything in the Riverwood Trader. All right. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvor, the blacksmith. All right. Okay, so what's this about you and some bloke liking the same girl? Um, can you not just like fight to the death or something? That's how we do it in civilized society, yeah? Camilla Valerius knows I'm the best man in Riverwood. That elf is kidding himself if he thinks she would choose him over me. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood trader to speak with her when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Oh, right, well, I was going to make some witty comment about, like, you know, how you should be able to, like, leave this girl to make her own decisions and stuff, but it doesn't seem like, uh, that's actually the options here. Um, he sounds persistent, why do you not do something about it? I mean, what are you going to do? Stab him? Uh, that's, that's a, that's a bit of a closed-minded way of dealing with, like, you know, love interest problem things. And yes, two people spending time together, and the blossoms into courtship. Mm-mm-mm. Uh... That one. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> yep. I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Who's Orgnar? Uh, still, you have a point. Camilla letting Feindel visit her isn't a good thing for me. <laughs> it's her choice, man! Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say it's from Feindel. That should get Camilla to stop inviting the elf over. <laughs> oh, wait. Lawful evil. Yes, I'll help you with your bad plan. Ah. <laughs> uh, <coughs> I might go tell the elf about this because that's the that's the honourable thing to do, Until right? Next time. <laughs> Where's this elf, Fenera or whatever his name is? Nobody believes me, but 
I tell you, I saw a dragon. I know you did, love. I'm not going to talk to you about that, though. I'm looking for the... Well, I should sleep. And then maybe I can find him somewhere. Uh, so that's a trader. That's the blacksmith. What, what, what's up here? What, what, what have we got? Uh, we've got a random house. I bet it is just a random house. Oh, it's Fendel's house. He's the man I need to speak to. But I know if I break in there at this time of night, he's going to have something to say. And maybe I'll find myself in a fight. <coughs> and, uh, you know, I am a kajit. Grr, it's a dog. Just talking about how I'm a cat and then I walk around and see a dog. I mean, that's not very nice. No, go away. Don't bark at me. No, shush. Um, I don't like you. I'm going to chase this chicken round instead. Meow. Um, <laughs> right, what have we got in this door? Hod and Gua's house? No. I didn't read that last name properly. I only read the first bit. You may have been able to tell by the way that what the words that I said didn't match up with the uh, letters in front of me at all. Uh, Sleeping Giant Inn. Sounds good. All right, so Sleeping Giant Inn. Um, oh, oh. Shall I prove my masculinity by walking across these fire? This fire. What? That that. Why doesn't this hurt? Ha. Roast cat, anyone? Uh, right, so let's talk to this guy over here. I'm looking we for a bed for the need night. A room? Talk to Delphine. Oh, okay. Well, where's Delphine? Um, stuff you. I don't. Well, I don't want to talk time. to you. The first thing you do is tell me to go talk to someone else. I'm going to go talk to them instead. Delphine. You're that visitor been poking around. Yes, I am that visitor that's been poking around. Um, it's amazing how you've heard of that in such a short space of time. I've literally just turned up, spoken to one person, and you've been asleep. Are you psychic, madam? Is there something going on that I need to know about? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I don't want it for a day, I just want it until morning. Um, right, let's... Uh, this this one over here by any chance? Or, or is this one mine? No, that's owned. Right, so now we have the, the, the ever-pressing task of trying to find out which... which one is mine. This one? Open the door. Uh, that bed's owned, not allowed to sleep in that one. Okay, this one, open the door. Get in here. Oh, look, a book. Uh, bed. Sweet. Sleep till. Oh, no. Uh, so if it's two, we're going to sleep for six hours and come out in the morning being all, all refreshed and like, yeah! Hopefully. Um, <clears throat> I'm not. Like, so. I know humans need eight hours sleep. Well, six hours sleep is the, the Great War. It's just pages and pages and pages. It is pages and pages and pages. I'm not going to steal this book. As you see down the uh, the bottom left there, it says steal. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. Right, morning time. Let's go and sell some stuff. Because, uh, as I say, I am I am loaded with, with cack. Um, I think what I'd like to do at some point is uh, work up on my destruction skill so that I'm uh, good enough to go out with nothing. And then when I, I, when I come back, I, I can be sure to sell everything. Fire. Who are you? Fire? Yes, I... Are you telling me to shoot you? You're kind of fuzzy. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're kind of drunk. Here, have Not another one. Ale or mead? No. Oh, I got some wine there. Have some wine, man. Uh, I, I, I will drink with you as well. Mm, mm. Anyway, well, 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 let's, dr let's drink. Uh, food, wine... There we go. Getting drunk with... Oh, uh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. You've got all purple, man. You are right. This can't be good in this sunlight, you know? I didn't know there's dragons around. Oh, yeah, seriously, shut up, dragons. Um, that's not a good dog. It's a bad dog. Oh, I heard that elf up here. Where was he? Right, we're looking for an elf called Falinor or whatever it was. He lives in here, but I literally just heard... No, he doesn't live in there. He lives over that way. Let's go have a look. Ah, right, well, I'm not quite as drunk as I was a second ago, so let's go and have a look. Uh, this is Matey's house. Uh, we're going to go ruin the plan of... Oh, no, I don't want to I don't want to pick a lock. Where's that, that mongrel of a dog? Um, where is that mongrel of a dog? I'm pretty sure with the dog we will find that elf. Is that him? Is he the elf? Hello? Who are you? No, you're Sven. You're the one who's uh, playing I'm trying to ruin. Uh, Alright, well whilst we're failing... Oh, hey, who's that? Need, my friend? Within reason, of course. Well, I'd like to sell you hey, some stuff. Watch over your battles, friend. What have you got for sale? 
But well, in fact, not what have you got for sale? Because I'm trying to sell you stuff. But it seems to be the only. This is, can't be the first time I've bartered. It is, isn't it? I've only just come out on the mountains. All right. Uh, yeah. Sell it by pressing E. Awesome. Um, I've got stuff for sale, like this one and this one and this one and this one and these four. Wow. How much money has this guy got? He's got 508 left. I'm literally gonna just. There we go. Take everything. Um, I want to keep that for Magic Kings later, or at least taking the Magic Kings off it. But we can sell everything else. Yep, that's good. Uh, and my miscellaneous, I'm going to sell my pelt. And I'm going to keep the iron, because you never know, I might need it for doing my stuff up in a bit. Uh, anything else I want to get rid of? Is there anything that I'm not either using, or is one of my better items? No, right. So I want to buy some leather off this guy, if he's got it. Um... He has. Let's. I only want to buy like one bit. Uh, I just want to. I want to make my bow better, basically. Awesome. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, until next time. Uh, indeed. Until next time, my friend. No, this isn't the one I wanted. Is this the one I wanted? Whatever you need. My smear is simple and strong. Ah, what do I need? I, I needed firewood. Fire. Right. So let's go get some firewood. That also happily plays into my plan of trying to find this. There he is, elf. There's beauty here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. Uh, I don't want to be better. Uh, Sven wants me to deliver this letter to Camilla, saying it was from you. What is that blowhard up to now? So he thinks he can turn Camilla against me. Two can play at this. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. Let's see what she thinks of him after reading that. It's good how he had this letter specifically prepared. I mean, he's not even put down his stack of firewood. And he's just like, here, yeah, have this nasty letter. I really wonder if I can, like, um, go and be like, hey, Camilla, these two arseholes are, like, messing up your life. You want to go with a cat? <laughs> right. <laughs> Indeed, do you want some pussy? Um, if you're looking for work... Go see hot at the mill. No, I, I literally just want a stack of firewood. I can do some. Ah, wait. I need an axe, right? Uh, now, I'm going to use some metagame knowledge here. Because I know somewhere around here there is another fire axe. Because when I first picked, uh, first played this game, I stole it. Done. <laughs> Alright, awesome. So we're going to go get a piece of firewood and make uh, my bow better. Maybe you've already met Camilla Valerius. Nope, not yet. Is there, oh, I wonder if I can do this like I can with the mining, where you just kind of like attack the, the, the block of wood. Blat! Done done. Alright, okay, I only want the one bit. That add, did that add a bit? Did it add a bit or did I stop? Let's have a look. Is it miscellaneous, do you reckon? Firewood. Oh, I got two bits. That, that's fine. Well, obviously because a, a log splits into two, right? Yeah? 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 Um, and after I've stopped doing porn noises, we'll uh, come over here and improve my bow on the grindstone. That's a, an interesting use of uh, use of equipment, but there we go. Do I want to improve this? Yes, I do. Not bad. Reminds me when I first started. <laughs> Whoa! You sarcastic son of a bitch! <laughs> ah. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Okay. Right. Well. Whatever you need. Hang about. Do you have supplies like I, I could take? Do you I'm have? To help in any way I can. Help do you have strips of leather that I can just take? No. Okay. So, um, what have you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I'm looking to protect myself this time. In fact, um, I'm going to take like five bits. I, I seem to have money, so we'll 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 go with this. Um, for five. Come on. Click the. Button. There we go. Five. Okay. I don't know whether I need five. I I, um, the main reason being we're just going to uh, improve my armor and stuff here. Um, requires leather. Done. Yes, I would like to improve this. Uh, did I not sell this hide shield or is this the one I'm using? I don't know. Let's improve it anyway. It improves my skills. And it is all about improving skills at the moment. There we go. Right. Let's check my equipment out. And then we're going to go talk to this Camilla bird. Bird? Woman. Uh, apparel, apparel, app I can never say that word properly. Um, right, so, fine, 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 fine. Fine, yeah, yeah. Alright, all looking good. 
Um, I didn't even look at what my stats were right there. Um, I have an armor rating of 74. I'm not sure what that's stacked up against. My bow does 16 damage and my steel mace does 12. I should really be using my bow. Um, right. And supposedly this Camille girl's in here. Well, now, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. Yeah, let's hear it. We are done talking about this. No, 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 no. She's oh. got a valid point. <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Well, I will talk to you in a sec, but you... Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Pharaoh asked me to give you this letter and say it was from Sven. There we go. You what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Why, that jealous idiot. Thought he could just manipulate me into never seeing Sven again? Thank you for telling me the truth. You should speak to Sven. I'm sure he'll want to thank you. No, too I want to fuck Sven up as well. No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Wait, wait. I came here from the Imperial province to work with my brother, Lucan. Um, ah, oh, I messed the elf up, but not the Nord. I feel bad now. Um, 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 um. All right, let's talk to this guy anyway. Oh, that didn't go as planned at all. The Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. All right, let's the see what we got. Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. All right, what do you have for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Oh, well, you know, another man's rubbish and all that. Um, let's have a look at my my stuff here. Uh, we're gonna sell the um. No, we're not gonna sell the amethyst. We're not even gonna sell this. We'll sell the food. Food, food is rubbish. No one needs food. I'm gonna keep as many uh, ingredients as I can. Um, I'm probably going to do the vast majority of my potion do it, making offline, because uh, not offline, off camera, because I don't really want to just go down the list, going click, 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 click. Uh, you don't need to know that. I don't need to know that. Um, but I've got to put up with it, of course. Um, pheasant breast, not a, not a peasant breast. Uh, that's how I first read it. Um, get rid of the stamina, ragged robes, rustbone tunic. Rubies. I've improved my speechcraft. Got better at swindling people. Oh, I got some spell tomes left. I really should uh, get round to using Book of the Racism. Sure. And we'll cut his axe. Okay, that's everything gone that he will buy. Should we? Should we ask him what happened? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. One thing you say? What was that An thing? Ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Never heard of it. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Shipment, you say? Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast of town. Like right, yes. yes, we'll do that after so we've talked to Sven. To go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Oh, yes? Well, no, I... By the eight, fine, but only to the edge of town. This way. Right, let's talk this to way. him. Le this way. Let's take her to talk to Sven. Right, that that's the best thing. We just we've just ruined Sven's plan. <laughs> let's go talk to him. Uh, to go through town and across the you. To get to that letter ought to convince Camilla to never speak to Feindal ever again. I don't think Camilla will be spending it. Oh, that's that's rubbish. I don't. Until next time. Where 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 where's that elf gone? Hey, watch it. I should stop referring to him by his race. That is also totally racist of me. Um, I mean, th th this is his house over this way, but he seems to have disappeared. Yeah, he's definitely seemed to have disappeared, and. That makes it 20 minutes, guys. So I am going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this particular adventure. I'm sure next time we will start by getting drunk with my new friend here. Uh, and with that, bye-bye!